Amy, I love you so damn much. The, I think about you constantly. I am so excited to see you walk down that aisle. <laughs> and I promise I'm not gonna cry this hard. The whole ceremony, most of it. Ernest Hemingway said there's nothing to writing. You just sit at the typewriter and you bleed. You write hard and clear about what hurts. Well then you and I fell in love and nothing really hurt anymore, so I spent the last few years practicing writing about this moment instead. I wrote the first version of these vows during a long flight to Spain, just months into our relationship and long before you even proposed to me. I was thinking about my parents. They've been married for 40 years and when you ask my mom how, she says it's because my dad has always made her feel safe. I vividly remember looking over at you while you read your book and being hit hard by a feeling that has not wavered since that moment. And it was that I knew as well as I know my own name that you would keep me safe for the rest of my life. I vividly remember our first conversation about our shared love for Dali. At that point, I had no idea how much we would have in common. Our love for music and traveling has brought so much joy to my life. I didn't realize I could be this happy. I know as we grow old together, we will always continue to have fun together. Amy has always been super intelligent. Anybody that knows Amy, anybody that's read her writing, knows she's a very smart young lady. <laughs> Do you like it? Wow. I love it. Wow. She has opened my eyes to being a better person. So you like to think. You like to think that your kids can learn from you, and I know I've learned more from you than you have from me. Caleb embodies everything that's great about this country. I'm so proud of him. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so proud of this young man. I have prayed for you my her whole life. I prayed for someone that would love my daughter, nurture her, encourage her, and just make her the center of the universe because she's been mine for 27 years. Caleb, uh, I know he's getting a good wife and I was telling my wife the other day that She's going to be the one for him because I guarantee it, he wouldn't be getting married today if he, she wasn't the one for him.
I grew up snowboarding. Every, every time I'm here, I'm in awe of the beauty of everything surrounding the mountains, the snow, the air, like the scenery, it's, it's breathtaking. Has come and gone and we can't forget. It was the first venue we looked at, and it was like, yeah, there's not gonna be anything else better than this. It's like everything that embodies us as a couple, being right on the mountain, and in a space where there's good wine and moody vibes. snow that's here today, uh, literally record-breaking snow since all of the time, uh, it's a sign that, you know, this is meant to be. Amy, I promise to stay open and honest and faithful to you. I promise to laugh and cry with you. I promise to protect and provide for you. I promise to prioritize your life goals as my own. I will always promote your amazing creativity, kindness, and humor. I always forgive you and keep my ego in check. I really mean that one. <laughs> I promise to be a bold and strong father to our children. I promise to work less. And I promise I will never stop falling in love with you. I promise to always care for you the way you care for me, without judgment and without hesitation. You've taught me that love doesn't run out. Love doesn't ask for anything in return. It's actually as easy as breathing. I'll never get over the way your face scrunches up when you cry. <laughs> or when you laugh and how, when you feel any emotion strongly enough, you let yourself get lost in it for a moment. I promise to never stop learning about you. And I promise that no matter who we evolve into over the course of the rest of our lives, you will always be the most brilliant person I know and I will always be yours. The end. <laughs> by the power vested in me by the Utah County Clerk and the American Marriage Ministries.org. I now pronounce you to husband and wife, Caleb, you may now kiss the bride. Stay here. I mean, I've always looked up to my brother. He's one of the hardest working people I've ever met in my life. Um, I literally brag about him any chance I get. <laughs> if I can bring it up in conversation and be like, hey, my brother owns a company, I will. <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just start talking about him. I'll be like, yeah, he was on the, he was on the Fast 50 and I'll just start talking about him. <laughs> that you fit into our family just right. The way you treat and respect Amy is inspiring for anyone who believes in true love. And I'm so excited to officially have you as my brother. 